Hey there, my name is Marcus and I'm working on the graph. Today we're going to be going over publishing a subgraph to the graph network on Arbitrum 1. We'll start by getting familiar with the process by publishing a subgraph together using Arbitrum Gorelli GRT. Then I'll go through a mock publication using Arbitrum Mainnet GRT. And before going any further, you should have already deployed a subgraph through Subgraph Studio and it should be production ready. If your subgraph isn't production ready just yet, check out the links in the description below where you can get started on deploying, iterating, and building your subgraphs. If your subgraph is production ready and you want to publish, let's begin the process of publishing our subgraph to Arbitrum. Here we are at Subgraph Studio. As you can see, our production ready subgraph is at version 1.0.0. It's indexing a smart contract on Ethereum mainnet, as you can see here. Here, you can see we have the option to publish our subgraph to Ethereum, Ethereum Gorelli, Arbitrum, or Arbitrum Gorelli. Subgraphs can be published to one of these four networks. For the purpose of this workshop, I'll first be going through the steps of publishing our subgraph on Arbitrum Gorelli using Testnet GRT so we can practice. Then, I'll go over how you can do the exact same thing using Arbitrum Mainnet GRT. Let's start this Arbitrum Gorelli publishing by getting some Arbitrum Gorelli GRT from the Graphs Discord. Go to the channel named Gorelli Fawcett and type in exclamation point GRT followed by your wallet's account address. And then we'll also get some Gorelli ETH from a faucet for your gas fees. You'll also need some Arbitrum Gorelli ETH for your gas fees, so don't forget to pick that up from a faucet as well. Now, we need to bridge the Ethereum Gorelli GRT to Arbitrum. To do this, go to the Arbitrum bridge and bridge your GRT to Arbitrum. Confirmed that you've made all of these transactions, then head back to Subgraph Studio. Okay, we're back. Here, you can see that you can signal on your subgraph, which is where you'll use your Arbitrum Gorelli GRT to curate your subgraph. When you signal on your subgraph, you are telling indexers on the decentralized network that, hey, this subgraph is valuable. Indexers, please index this subgraph, and you'll receive some of the indexing rewards from this initial signaling. So let's signal 10K. Please note that when you go through this process again using Arbitrum Mainnet GRT, not the Arbitrum Gorelli GRT that we are currently using, signaling 10K GRT is consistently enough incentive to get your subgraph indexed. So let's publish our subgraph to Arbitrum Gorelli. Great. We've now published our subgraph to the graph network using Arbitrum Gorelli GRT. And as you can see, the testnet publication is not being indexed as testnet funds are not enough incentive to have indexers get to work. Hey there, I just want to pause and take a quick moment and congratulate you for publishing your subgraph using Arbitrum Gorelli GRT. And this is a big deal because you're getting reps and you're being able to practice and really understand publishing and then also deploying, iterating on your subgraph and getting more familiar with the graph network. So when you're feeling confident about this and you want an overview of how to publish using mainnet GRT on Arbitrum, go ahead and keep on watching. The process is very, very similar. The only difference is right in the beginning. And I'll go over that with a few steps just in a second. Stick with it. I'll go through a mock demonstration of how you might do that uh, in terms of the exact numbers. That is, of course, up to you. But I just want to show you the steps and how simple they can be. And you already know a lot. So keep on going. You're doing great. Now, let's look at the steps to publish a subgraph to Arbitrum Mainnet, officially named Arbitrum 1. The first step is to get GRT. There are many ways to get GRT. Let's go through two. The first option is Uniswap, where you'll buy ETH that's on Ethereum mainnet and then swap the ETH for Ethereum mainnet GRT. 
The next steps you already know how to do. You'll bridge your GRT to Arbitrum, then publish your subgraph through Subgraph Studio, just as we did before. I'll walk you through using Uniswap with a mock demonstration in just a sec. The second option is through a grant from the Graph Foundation. You can reach out to migration at thegraph.foundation, and they'll help walk you through the process of applying so there's no upfront cost to get your subgraph published on the Graph network. Let's start with Uniswap. Now I'm gonna mock all of these transactions. You are free to input whatever you would like. I'm going to mock buying 150 USD and you can receive for 150 USD currently 0 0.0783 ETH. And let's pretend I went through that transaction and now I'll swap that 0 0.0783 ETH that I bought for the graph token. And because I don't have that 0 0.0783 ETH, I cannot swap. But of course you could when you make that transaction. The next two steps you've done before. Remember bridging your GRT to Arbitrum, signaling 10K GRT, then publishing? You're gonna do the exact same steps here, but instead of being on Arbitrum Gorelli, you'll be on Arbitrum Mainnet. And once you publish your subgraph, your subgraph will appear in the Graph Explorer. To find your subgraph that has been published to Arbitrum 1, you'll go to the top right corner and click Arbitrum 1. I will select a subgraph that has previously been published on Arbitrum 1. This is the OpenSea V2. And you can see there's five active indexers. There's one curator and you can test the queries in the playground. And that's it. Thank you so much for taking the time to really go through publishing a subgraph to Arbitrum 1. If you have any further questions, go ahead and check the links down in the description. They're there to help you out. And if you have any other further questions, I'm always around. Once again, my name is Marcus, and I'm working on the graph every day. Take care.